Forget bullets and bombs. The deadliest weapons today are invisible. U.S. electronic warfare units are quietly reshaping the battlefield, jamming enemy signals, confusing radar, and controlling the war without ever firing a shot. In modern warfare, information is power, and whoever controls the airwaves often controls the outcome. That's why the U.S. military invests heavily in electronic warfare, EW, units, silent operators who dominate the electromagnetic spectrum. From shutting down enemy communications to blinding advanced radar systems, these soldiers don't need to pull triggers, they flip switches. Whether on land, in the air, or from naval vessels, EW teams play a critical role in both offense and defense. In this script, we'll explore how these digital warriors operate, the cutting-edge tech they rely on, and how they are defining the future of warfare without ever being seen. 1. Understanding Electronic Warfare – The Invisible Battlefield Electronic warfare isn't about brute force, it's about brains, signals, and technology. It operates across three primary domains – Electronic Attack EA, Electronic Protection EP, and Electronic Support ES. EA focuses on actively jamming or deceiving enemy sensors and communications. EP ensures that friendly systems remain secure and operational under electronic attack. ES involves passive listening and detection of adversary signals to gather valuable intelligence. EW units are often equipped with aircraft like the EA 18G Growler, which specializes in jamming radar and enemy communications. On the ground, systems like the Electronic Warfare Planning and Management Tool, EWPMT, give commanders real-time control over their electromagnetic environment. Units also employ mobile ground-based jammers, which can prevent the remote detonation of IEDs or disable enemy drones. These capabilities were especially effective in conflicts such as Iraq and Afghanistan, where EW teams save lives by disabling enemy electronics before they could cause harm. Modern battlefield scenarios show that EW is the glue that binds cyber operations, communications, and conventional warfare. As more military systems become dependent on electronics, the ability to control or deny access to the electromagnetic spectrum becomes a decisive factor. From misdirecting enemy missiles to shielding entire battalions from surveillance, EW proves that in modern war, silence isn't just golden, it's lethal. 2. Real-world deployments, from Syria to Ukraine. Electronic warfare is no longer an experimental capability. It's a deployed asset in live combat. In Syria, U.S. forces used EW tools to jam ISIS communications, disabling their ability to coordinate attacks and launch drones. These operations were carried out without gunfire, proving the value of electromagnetic dominance. Troops were able to move through areas with reduced risk, shielded by an invisible curtain of jamming waves. More recently, the war in Ukraine has highlighted EW's brutal effectiveness. Russian forces used electronic attacks to disrupt GPS, jam communications, and blind surveillance drones. Ukrainian and NATO observers have taken note, pushing U.S. defense planners to innovate even faster. The U.S. is responding with upgraded and mobile EW systems that are harder to locate and easier to deploy. Difference between survival and disaster. Beyond platforms, AI is playing an increasing role. Machine learning algorithms are now used to automate spectrum analysis, making EW systems faster and more responsive. These systems can detect, classify, and prioritize threats within milliseconds, faster than any human operator. Integration with cyber units ensures that EW doesn't just jam, but can also penetrate and exploit networks, blurring the line between electronic and cyber warfare. 4. The Future of EW – AI, Cyber Integration, and Global Dominance The future of electronic warfare is digital, autonomous, and deeply integrated with other domains of military power. As adversaries like China and Russia invest in their own EW capabilities, the U.S. is focused on staying ahead through innovation and collaboration. AI-driven EW systems are now being tested across all service branches. These platforms use neural networks to learn and adapt to new threats, offering real-time solutions without human delay. 
They can detect jamming attempts, analyze enemy waveforms, and deploy the best countermeasure instantly. The goal is not just faster reaction, but proactive disruption, preventing threats before they can even form. Cyber EW convergence is another frontier. Future systems will combine electronic attack with hacking capabilities, meaning a jammer could also serve as a cyber intrusion point. This dual capability allows operators to not only block communications but infiltrate networks, steal data, or plant false information. Space-based EW is also on the rise. The U.S. Space Force is testing satellite constellations designed to jam enemy signals from orbit or protect friendly space assets. These tools add a global reach to EW, making a 24-7 borderless capability. All these developments signal a shift in military doctrine. Electronic warfare is no longer a niche specialty. It's a central pillar of modern combat. Commanders now plan missions with EW as a primary consideration, not just a support role. The electromagnetic spectrum has become as critical as land, sea, air, and space. U.S. electronic warfare units are changing the rules of battle. Without a single bullet, they control the fight, protect troops, and strike fear into enemy networks. As the world moves deeper into digital warfare, these silent warriors stand ready. Guardians of the spectrum, masters of the invisible battlefield. If you thought war was loud, think again. In the electromagnetic age, the quietest signal can be the deadliest.